Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I just got back from the Royal last night at midnight and I had a great time. I know you're all hoping to see some more videos from the trip and it's coming very soon. I just have to sit down and edit all these footage because I have 87 gigabytes of film from my trip. So, and I wasn't even allowed to film a lot of the stuff that I was on there, but I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of what you can expect coming up in a few uh, videos. But in the meantime, I, I needed to answer a question that I got and um, uh, bring up a couple comments quickly before we get into that. First off, um, thank everybody for the well wishes uh, on the trip and having a great trip. It really, really was a great trip. and. People messaged me and I, I don't understand because apparently it wasn't 90 degrees and sunny all last week across the United States like it was where we were in the Caribbean on the Royal. We didn't have a single bad day of weather, but I heard it was pretty bad. In fact, on my flight home, uh, waiting at the airport, I know, noticed numerous flights canceled along the way. So, uh, And it's snowing as heck today here in Ottawa as well. So. Well, uh, it was a good week for me to be gone, I guess. Uh, while I was gone, I got an email, and this has happened before, so I thought I'd mention it. I responded to the person, and then I get a response back from an, an automated message saying that their website and their email has refused my email response. And I really wanted to answer their question, and this has happened quite a few times lately. And I think it's because some people have privacy settings set up and my email address is a business email address. So you may, if, if you sent me an email and I haven't responded, try using a different email address or a private email address if you're sending one from work or something along those lines, because often I'm getting them back as I respond and they're saying, I, I, I just can't get through and at that point I have nothing I can say because I can't resend it, it's just going to come back and I have no phone numbers or anything like that. The question I, I got this morning was a lady called me in a little bit of a distress. She booked a cruise through one of those online websites like Expedia. Very much like Expedia. And she paid for her cruise and then she got a notice saying that the cruise isn't paid for so she put it through again now she's noticed on her credit card that she's paid for the cruise twice and when she calls expedia of course they give her numbers to call somebody else and they give them numbers to call somebody else and she can't get anywhere and that's one of the warnings when you're using a universal website like that instead of a designated travel agent the designated travel agent, you're going to have their number and you're going to talk to them directly so you know who you're dealing with if there's a problem. When you're calling a website like as big as say Expedia is, you're going to get a random person and they're going to have no idea what you're talking about and have to look into it and then they'll try and push you to somebody else who they think can help you and it just snowballs and snowballs and snowballs and you never really get an answer. The only thing in this situation you could do, there's two things. When you call, you ask directly to speak to a supervisor, period. Not somebody else. You want to have customer relations, supervisor, right off the bat. You don't try and explain anything to this person who answers the phone. If you get nowhere with that, call your credit company, tell them that you've been charged twice for the exact same thing and have them cancel one of the billings. If uh, and if you really want, cancel both. And I guarantee you, whoever you booked your cruise with will get back to you pretty quickly after you cancel both of those uh, credit card payments. But if you wanted to keep the booking because it was a good price or something like that, just cancel one of the credit cards. That's really the only recourse you have without going through Better Business Bureau and contacting a lawyer. Um, if you can't get answers when you're calling, unless you can go into an office somewhere, then you're kind of out of luck. So I just wanted to get that out there. If you have to cancel one of your bookings on your credit card, I'm trying to get that message to the lady who, who contacted me and I couldn't respond because of the email thing. So thank you for letting me <laughs> answer an email here on this video. And now, uh, here, let me just give you a little quick tease about how my cruise went.
you liked that video and I hope you look forward to all the videos coming up from the vlogs. I got lots of comments, people liking the first vlog that I ever did. And yes, it was the first vlog I've ever, ever done in my life. And it's really by the first day compared to my last day, I got much more comfortable talking in front of people and things like that. And I'm leaving again in less than three weeks now for Mexico and I'm going to do some more tours there and uh, so stay tuned for those I'm definitely going to vlog on that and I've learned so much on this trip about how to film properly what the camera phone can record better than other cameras and what they can't for instance your camera cell phone is great as long as you don't zoom if you, if you want to zoom in on your camera phone, the blurry, when you bring it up, it comes into a little bit more distorted and blurry pictures than you would with the big camera. So I learned that uh, looking over my footage today. So lesson learned, and I won't make that mistake again next time. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. We're approaching 10,000 subscribers and it's just crazy and wait till you hear some of the stories I have from this cruise. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.